Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. In this tutorial, we will see how to create lower third, and also how to render it in transparent format. So, let's start with creating a new composition. Here I will name this composition as, Clean Lower Third. Time duration to 5 seconds. Remaining everything will be same. Now select Pen Tool. Change Fill option to, None. Change Stroke option to, Solid Color. Here you can set the Stroke Color. Let's set Stroke Width to 150. Now here, you need to create line as shown. For this shape layer, we will add trim paths. Now at near about 1 second and 10 frames. In trim path, create keyframe for end. Now at start of the timer line, change end to 0%. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. In graph editor, make sure you are on edit speed graph. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. For this shape layer, in effects and preset, search for fill, add fill to shape layer. Here you can set any color of your choice. Now let's add the text. Here I am using Montserrat font family. Increase the font size. Change font style to extra bold. Change to all caps. If you want you can adjust the text layer. Here we will stretch the shape layer. Select the pen tool. Now select the end point and drag it to stretch the shape layer. Perfect. For this text layer, let's add fill. Here you are free to set any color of your choice for this text. Here I will set it to white color. Now we will create duplicate of this shape layer 1. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Place it above the text layer. Now for text layer, we need to change the track mat. Change it to layer 2. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create null object. For shape layer 1, parent it to text layer. For text layer, parent it to null object. For shape layer 2, parent it to shape layer 1. Now for null object, press P to bring up position. Now at 1 second, create keyframe for position. At 2 seconds, slightly change position value as shown. You can see the preview. Select created keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview.
If you want the position animation to delay, you can shift the position keyframe. Perfect. Now select all the created layers. Here we will create duplicate of them, press Ctrl plus T to create duplicate. Place them above. Perfect. First here we will change the text, this will be our subtext layer. Here I will reduce the font size. Font style to bold. For shape layer 3. We will change the stroke value, change it to 100. Let's change the shape and text color first. Here we will adjust the position. For null. For end position keyframe. Adjust the position. Perfect. We will set the same value for the first keyframe. You can see the preview. For shape layer 3. Adjust the position value to place the text layer at center of shape. Perfect. Now for null. If you want you can bring both the text layer close. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now select, shape layer 3, subtext, and shape layer 4, place them at 1 second. Let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Now select all the layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as lower third. For this slower third composition, let's enable time remapping. At 2 seconds, change the time remap value to 2 seconds and 10 frames. At 3 seconds, change the time remap value to 2 seconds and 10 frames. This creates the whole effect for our lower third. Now for end keyframe. Let's change the time remap value to zero. Now you can see the preview. Here we have now in and out effect for our lower third. If needed you can scale this lower third according to your requirement. Also you can adjust the position, you can place it wherever you want. Now let's see how to render this slower third in transparent format. You can press Ctrl plus M to add it to render queue, or go to composition. If you are using the latest version of After Effects, then you will have this media encoder, you can use this. Or you can add to render queue in After Effects. Here we will change the output module. Select on lossless, change format to quick time. If you can't see this quick time, then you need to install the quick time media player, and restart the application. Change channel to RGB plus alpha. Here you can set your destination, where you want to save this lower third. Also you can name this file, by default it will set the name of composition. Now hit render.
your transparent lower third is ready. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.